We all know that um, ecosystem services are destroyed, overused all over the world, and our approach is that the lack of a usable value of a price of the ecosystem service, which is a different thing, um, is the cause that um, ecosystem services, ecosystems are often neglected when there are economic decisions being taken. Billions of people worldwide are depending on the land they live on. Its ecosystems provide them with services like food, fresh air, pure water, climate control or recreation. Consequently, it secures their livelihood. As land and soil are constantly degrading, their livelihood are degrading as well. Sustainable ways of land management are needed, not only to prevent the current situation from worsening, but also to secure the future well-being of our societies. The major reason behind my involvement with the economics of land degradation is actually to create awareness about the causes of inaction against land degradation and as well what I do to indicate the major benefits arising from action against land degradation. So that the major reasons as well, uh, we want to bring in different stakeholders that are working on land degradation and give them feedback and input to improve uh, decision making. The Economics of Land Degradation ELD initiative not only provides evidence of the negative impacts of land degradation on the economic development of the affected countries. A topical issue in Kenya, we are having 64% of the land that is uh, uh, degraded, 22% of which is very severe. In addition, with various studies from partner countries, PLD can prove that sustainable land management pays off. Protecting the land from degradation in the first place is not only cheaper, but also sustainable and therefore a worthwhile investment in the future. Valuing the land will show the case for conservation for decision makers and this will help us maybe for decision makers of different countries to, to take action. Because when you compare the business as usual with the improved land conservation, so you see there is quite benefits from conserving the land. That's what we want to show to the public and the, the whole Africa. The initiative strives to make the economic dimension of land management an integral part of policy strategies and decisions on national and international level. To reach this goal, communication and policy science dialogues play a vital role to raise the awareness of the true value of fertile land and its ecosystem services to society. Communicating is a very big issue because number one is how you present the results. Most of the time when we are having our research outputs, most of, it, most of the time we publish this work. But for the policymakers, they may not be able to access the journals. So the biggest issue is how do we now get this information to the policymakers. ELD uses economics as a language for different stakeholders to discuss their needs, costs and benefits. The goal is come to optimal, mutual and sustainable land management and development strategies. This new concept of economics of land degradation is really focusing to give a special value to all those land resources and uh, value them in terms of monitoring. And then also you can educate the local communities as well as politicians. How much does it cost, uh, uh, you know, with uh, non-acting and uh, not reversing the degradation? And how much will it cost to reverse it? So this concept by itself is new to Somalia, but it's really worth studying. Talking about land and soil also means to talk about natural capital ecosystem services represents. Ecosystems provide services with direct market values and with non-market values that contribute indirectly to our economic and social well-being. The latter may be less apparent but are important nonetheless. I think um, the economics of 
assessing land degradation is a way that we can value land, uh, value um, land degradation. Um, we can use um, the avoided costs of um, damage. We can also um, use um, the market value of um, ecosystem services to um, value. To help countries all over the world raising the impacts of climate change, degradation of ecosystem and the loss of biodiversity, the UN General Assembly has declared the UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration. The decade is a call for global action to draw together political, scientific and financial support to scale up the restoration of ecosystems on all levels. ELD is looking forward to contributing to this exciting movement. Visit our website or follow us on our social media channels to learn more and stay in touch.